On last night's I'm a Celebrity, we saw the camp bid an emotional farewell to jungle joker George Hamilton. Ti voglio bene, eh? Fai bravo. Grazie di niente. Seeing George leaving, it, it was very sad. Uh, we all got uh, quite emotional. Sabrina was crying, I was crying, Jimmy White was crying. I love the guy. Jimmy, you're crying. No. no. You are so. <laughs> Jimmy, you're having a wee cry <laughs> mood. No. Oh, he loves Jimmy, you're such a lovely man as well. Oh, man. George. You're doing great. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Yeah, you're doing great. It felt like I was saying goodbye to my dad again. They are, darling. Oh, I'm not gonna miss you, George. Oh. I know. I miss you. I know. I know, baby, too. Take care of her, will you? <laughs> no. Oh, can you blame the poor man for wanting to get out? <laughs> Go on, Andrew, what? <laughs> Sorry, well, you have to admit. No, I have to admit that, pathetic as it is, I did actually shed a little did tear you? for George of the Jungle. What I was most impressed with, and I don't know if any of you noticed, that Colleen and I were actually at the Last Supper because we were heads on sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see us yeah. with a little head on a stick? There we yeah, are, heads yeah, on look. sticks. And you know something? Oh, yeah. My oh, eldest, yeah. My eldest son, Matthew, said, Mum, you are on telly quite a lot. Can't really be enthusiastic about... I was going, oh, my God, I'm a head on a stick! <laughs> <laughs> All, you know, they yeah. got really emotional yeah, there, you know, about their new best friend, and they, you know, they had known him for a few weeks. 18 days. How, how oh, quickly... he's fantastic, oh, George him. Hamilton. I'm in love with him. Well, that, that sort of aside, how long does it take you to become a, you know, a best friend with someone? Because they all <laughs> got into that state well, quite quickly. Hello. <laughs> Queen of I do tend to, I, I do tend to make friends quite easily, and I have said before Seconds. that Tim always says to me when I'm out, it's when I'm out and about, which is quite often, um, and he says to me, why don't you just have your phone number tattooed on your head? <laughs> then it'll save you all the effort that you go into <laughs> giving me your phone number. Because I, 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 I get together with people and I enjoy their company so much and I think at the time that I don't want it to, to stop. So, of course, the next day I'll come in and I'll say to the girls, I went out last night, didn't give anybody my number. Within seconds, beep, beep. Great to meet you last night, Den. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Carlo. Carlo, oh, my God, who's Carlo? <laughs> Turns out he was an absolutely lovely painter that I promised to take to Newcastle and hopefully I will. But it's just then, five minutes later, beep, beep. It's Aaron from G-A-Y. Great to meet you last night. Lovely people, but I just get over-enthusiastic. Having said that, I have met a couple of my best friends, Nick and Paul, at one of those such events, who've become actually friends yeah. with all of us mm. now, haven't they? Yeah, lovely So guys. I'm not saying that I always follow it up, but, um, I think yeah. It's, I think it's um, difficult, because when you, you know, when, when me and my sisters used to perform all those years ago and you did summer season, you'd do, like, an eight sometimes a 22-week summer season, and you're with the same people 24-7 every day, mm. socialising, working with them. And I just remember at the end of every summer season thinking, they will be my best friends for life. And, like, I've never seen them since. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether it's me or them, but we never stayed in touch. So it, well. is, it is difficult. I, find, I mean, I must admit, I've, obviously, I don't come from the same sort of background as, as mm. you guys. Superficial but... like us, you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not show busy. And I, my first sort of experience of that, I suppose, was when I did Dancing on Ice. And, you know, for me, I fell in love with everybody. And oh, I thought yeah. everybody was brilliant. And I did that. I went around going, oh, let's all swap numbers and let's all do it. And I seriously thought everybody meant it when they said we'll all did keep it. Did they not? No. I think they do it. Oh, they all still phone yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> we text all the time. And <laughs> really do. I think, I think people do it at the time and you always say we must get together before but Christmas. We I must do this. you think as think actors, you we are, you know, you, you're in amazing situations as an actor sometimes. You, you know, you're actually in bed with somebody you've only just met in two minutes you ago. You are, you're taking your clothes off. And the way I get over that, well, you do that anyway. Real life. <laughs> um, you know, you t I find myself, when I was in rep, my mother, I'd ring up my mother and say, oh, I've met these marvellous, oh, they're fantastic people and we're having the most marvellous time. She yeah, yeah, yeah. But a week later, I can't stand them, I can't stand them, mother. They're horrible. <laughs> and Mr yeah. Spain does exactly the same as Tim, you know, wherever we go, I, as, I, as I'm about to go, oh, yes, I love, look, we must meet up. And I look across him and he's going... <laughs> <laughs> say though about George of the Jungle there yeah. when they were all crying and the music was playing they were all sobbing and yeah. I was like oh I love George and all that 
And then all of a sudden I thought, they're going to see him Saturday. I know, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> they're staying in the jungle for Forever. the rest of their lives. <laughs> well, we could vote for that, I suppose. <laughs> well, can I also just make a little point, and maybe it's because of being a certain age, but I don't know who here in the audience will agree with me, but I think that the relationship between Kim, lover or hater, and George has been fantastic, and they are two of the older people. Without those older people on our televisions, I don't exactly. think we would have had a show. Yes. 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 Just thought I'd get off. Good point. Okay.